Hey guys, welcome back to this week's taste test video. It feels good to be back. I'm finally recovered. So let's get right into this taste test. Okay, so we're gonna start kind of with appetizers. So this is vanilla Cardona goat's milk cheese, but it's hand rubbed with vanilla sugar. Ooh. That sounds really interesting. I love a good goat cheese, and then I mean vanilla. I'm all for that. And you can even see like the vanilla beans in yeah, there. You it. can actually see that too. And this actually seems more firm than goat the goat cheese that I'm used to. Usually the goat cheese that I eat is like really soft. So I don't know, let's see how this tastes. So definitely this is, I mean, a, a more firm cheese than I'm used to, especially with the goat cheese, but. Hmm. Weird. And, you definitely taste the vanilla. Yeah, you definitely taste the vanilla and you taste the goat cheese as well too, but it's so weird because it's such a firm cheese. And I'm not used to goat cheese uh, being so firm. I mean, it, you taste both flavors. So if you like goat cheese and you like a little bit hint of vanilla, I think the goat cheese is more prominent still and you get a subtle hint of the vanilla. I kind of like it. You, whoa, and he doesn't even like goat cheese. Yeah, it's weird, it's, it's like. Yeah, I just don't know what you would, I mean, you'd have to just eat this like by plain. itself, yeah. like on a cheese yeah. board or something, cause this, I don't know what this would pair with. I was just thinking like, what would you put this on? Like, I can't think of anything. It'd it's got good. a very unique, it's vanilla taste. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe like a dessert board at night with like some um, like cream cheese and some strawberries and some wine and some cheese. I think this would be maybe good with that, but it's good if you like vanilla and goat cheese, um, I think you'll like it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got organic pineapple probiotic juice shot beverage blend. Yes. Interesting, like I've never seen anything like this before. We used to get the ones from Costco, the orange ones are like the immune little shot things. Hey, you drank those, I didn't. You did, you <laughs> drank them too. I remember you wanted to drink them all because you were like so adamant you didn't want to get sick that winter. It was like two winters ago. Yeah, that was like the height of COVID. <laughs> Yes, well you were drinking them every day. Yeah. So th I, we love pineapple, so I think these would be good. Yeah. We bought two, so I'm just gonna drink my own. All right. Let's do this. Well, it's a shot, you gotta cheers. Oh, okay, sorry. Whee. Woo! Oh, you can definitely smell the ginger in here. Oh, right. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> mm. I love a good shot. This is really good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I love pineapple juice, so you really taste the pineapple and then the ginger as well, but it's nothing too overpowering. I know some ginger shots can be very strong. The pineapple really helps um, cut down that ginger taste. What else does it say? Coconut water, coconut water and lemon as well yeah. too. Do you, you can't taste? go wrong. I, I love coconut. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it's good. You can taste it, yeah. yeah. This is a perfect, nice refreshing. It's nice and refreshing as well it too. It actually is, yeah. If you guys like um, pineapple, I think you'll love this. This is a perfect little uh, drink juice. Each one bottle serving contains a juice of one fifth coconut, a wedge of pineapple, one wedge of lemon, a slice of ginger. Yeah, interesting. Mm, that was really good. Wow. Oh yeah, it says it right down there. I would definitely buy this again. I really like this. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just gonna go straight for dessert next. We are trying the new lemon flavored mini sheet cake. So this is a moist, flavorful lemon cake topped with lemon cream cheese frosting and then sprinkled with lemon zest. That sounds really good. My cream it's cheese a cute does. little, I know, he loves a good cream cheese frosting. I've never had a lemon cream cheese frosting though before, yeah. so yeah. I'm wondering if it, that's like too much lemon, like lemon frosting, lemon cake, Come lemon zest. Yeah. yeah, that's the only thing that I'm worried about. Yeah, because lemon's already strong and then you got all that in lemon. It's yes. It's like, oh, gonna be pretty lemony. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go right in here and dig in. Dang. I don't feel like getting a knife and a plate and being fancy. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna dig right in. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Very sweet. My <laughs> lips are tingling. <laughs> Very lemony. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. It's very lemony. I really like it though. I think it's really good. I think it would have been slightly better if they would have just done a plain cream cheese frosting on top. Yeah. 
lemon cake cream cheese frosting with the lemon zest on top top i think would have been perfect because this is very lemony you're getting the lemon cake the lemon yeah. frosting i don't mind it though i think it's really good um but i think that just would have helped cut it down a little bit and more people would have enjoyed it that way yeah. is it too lemony for you how do you feel i think so yeah so yeah. you agree though if it would have just been just regular frosting on top you think it would have been easier to take down i agree Yep. Yeah, but I mean, if you do not mind lemon at all, this is delicious. I will be eating all of this to myself because <laughs> it is really yeah. good. But it's, yeah. it's good. Yeah, it's just very, very lemon strong. forward though. It's very strong though. So yeah. you're gonna have to really enjoy that lemon flavor it's to very, enjoy this. Very sweet. Like my lips instantly started tingling. Like zzz, yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> mm. All right. Next up is the Trader Joe's Springle. Jingle? <laughs> yeah. A cheerful mix of fan favorite candy treats. The Sprinkle Jingle. Yes, so this isn't new, but you guys said you wanted to see it. It's got a bunch of little candies in here. They've got milk chocolate, peanut butter cups, uh, candy yogurt pretzels, all the good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. Let's try. Yeah. Ooh, here, you just can like try a Sprinkle. Stuff? Okay, so this one, yeah, this one, which one is this one? The Sprinkles. This the, one is the non Paris with spring colored. Oh, sprinkles. This is just like a spring color one. What are you talking about? Right here. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Hmm. It's just a chocolate coated in sprinkles. Yeah. Mm hmm. It's good though. Mmm. Very cool. Pretzels. Candy yogurt coated micro pretzels with some drizzle. Mm. Okay, so we got the pretzels up next. Pretty good. Perfect, yeah. Yep. It's really good. I oh, love it. Yeah. What is that? Chocolate bark? Mm hmm. Chocolate bark. Can't go wrong with the chocolate well, bark. I'm not going to eat this whole thing. You're not? Mm hmm. I just want a little piece. But you love chocolate. <laughs> chocolate bark. Yeah. Mm hmm. We've got the little peanut butter cups. These are so cute. This is a perfect little mix. There's so many fun stuff in here. It is. They have um, milk chocolate and dark chocolate peanut butter cups in here as well too, which is perfect. What do you think of the peanut butter cups? Good. Oh, good. Really mini, perfect. Yeah. And there's fine. little chocolates in here. Kind of like a little M&M, I think. This is such a perfect little mix to put out on a dish. This would be perfect for Easter or just like a little get together. You can put this on a charcuterie board as well too. Really cool, I really like this. M&Ms? Mm-hmm, little M&Ms. All right, we got one more thing. Oh, the, I, well, yeah, the butter toffee peanuts. Here you go. Oh, I wanna thank you. Okay, there we go. Mm. Oh. Those are good. Those are good. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Everything was really good. Ooh, those well, butter toffee peanuts were really good. I like those. And the pretzels. Those two were my favorite. And the milk chocolate peanut butter cups, too. What are you doing? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's for everyone. This is really good mix. I highly recommend this. What do you think overall? I like them. I like them all. Yeah. My favorite, which one's your favorite one? I don't know. Between the butter toffee peanuts and the milk chocolate peanut butter cups are right. between my two. What was your favorite? So my second place would be the the toffee peanut. Oh, okay. Yeah, those were really good. But that cookie bark on point. Yeah. Mmm. Good. Okay, so last but not least, we are gonna be trying this shrimp. So this is shrimp boomba. So it's crispy battered tail off round shrimp with a sweet and spicy sauce. It was really easy to cook. There is air fryer instructions on the back, so I just followed that. I put it in the air fryer. I warmed up the sauce, and then it said you could either coat the shrimp in the sauce, like toss it in, or you could dip it. I decided to just toss it in there. So we have two on the side right here by themselves that we're gonna try. They do have the sauce on them, and then I made sandwiches out of them. I got the brioche buns from Trader Joe's. I made a sriracha mayo, put that on top with the shrimp, cheese, and lettuce. So we're gonna eat these afterwards as well too. We'll probably take a bite and let you guys know how it is with everything on there. But let's try the shrimp um, purely just by themselves. Are you excited for this one? My mouth is watering. He loves shrimp. I do. <laughs> okay, let's go. It smells really good. 
I think I'm gonna really like this sauce that's on here. Oh yeah. That's good. Mm-hmm. Boom, ba. Mm-hmm. Good. That's really good. It does have, like a, it has a sweetness to it. It definitely it has a kick. It's spicy. Yes. Definitely high on the medium side, I would think, huh? Yeah, medium to high. Medium it's a spicy. to high. It's pretty spicy, so if you guys don't like um, spicy at all, I would unfortunately stay clear from this because, yeah, it's still like on my mouth right now. It's good. Though. It's pretty spicy. And you can put as much sauce on there as you want, though. I mean, I dumped the whole thing on the entire thing of shrimp, so you can maybe do a little bit if you are, you know, wary of the spiciness, but that is really good. Would definitely purchase that again. Mm -hmm. You want to try these sandwiches real quick and uh, then say goodbye hi. so you can finish eating them? I'm eating it. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go. Hmm. Yep. Perfect. If you guys like spiciness for one and you guys like a battered shrimp, these are really good. Yep. Yeah. Well, definitely. I'm definitely going to be buying these ones again for sure. Mm-hmm. And it's perfect how you like it on the sandwich and everything. Oh, I, I love it. And the sandwich actually cuts down on the spiciness it does. a lot. Yeah. So that's another tip if you guys are worried about it. Trying them by themselves, obviously you're going to get it. But with the bread and lettuce and everything, it really helps cut down the spice. So that's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was everything that we had to try this week. Do you have a favorite? Because it's really hard for me to pick one oh, this week. My favorite's going to be the shrimp. The shrimp? Okay, yeah. I have to agree with you. The shrimp is really good. I'll probably say, I don't know, that juice is really, I mean, I know it's just juice, but I really did like it. And then I like that lemon cake personally. Yeah. Those are really good as well too. And the Sprinkle Jangle, I mean, they was all really good. I can't pick. Sprinkle Jangle. Sprinkle Jangle. So we hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.